8 plus 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 equals 16, 20, 21. 8 plus 13 equals 21. Good zombies. Reset. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Lectures in Lab Coats. My name is Sparks and I will be your lovely lab coated lecturing let's play for today. Uh, something interesting to show you today. Um, this is a machine which performs calculations using the tracking AI of mobs, or in this case, uh, zombies. They love their maths. <laughs> uh, it's based on an idea um, by uh, that I got from reading a book by Terry Pratchett, who's quite a famous British author and one of my favourite authors of all time. Uh, in his world, where there is no electricity, um, a, a couple of people create a computer that uses ants and the hive mentality of ants running through glass pipes to perform calculations, artificial intelligence, uh, sums, things like that. Uh, so I thought I'd have a go at doing something, a simpler version of that in Minecraft. And this is it. This is a calculator which can add numbers together uh, as long as the value isn't larger than 31. It can perform calculations and it simply uses the tracking of mobs. So, for instance, this is uh, this sumby here has a value of 1. You'll notice that it has a straight line to this pressure plate and that's as close as it can get to our, our patsy villager over there. So if I press press this button, we'll get the zombie will wander over and you will notice that another one spawns. When this pressure plate is pressed, this lever goes up here and that now leaves a new path open for the next zombie. Were we to add another one, that would give us two. So he pushes the plate as he walks over there and knocks this zombie off and now we have a value of two. So 1 plus 1 equals 2. Seems to be working fairly well. If we added another one, that path has now been cut off again. So that gives us a value of 3. And then one more will give us 4. I just like watching them die. <laughs> so yeah, it uses it uses sort of a... S the limited sort of stuff you can do with mobs, I think. This is pushing it to the limit. These zombies are custom zombies. They have speed potions and fire resist on them. Um, I've currently set this place to night though, so that the spawners work. Uh, and you can actually perform as many calculations within a set as you like, um, as long as the total number isn't larger than 31. This is now 31. You can see all the lamps are lit, so 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 equals 31. If I was to add one more to this, similar to a computer, it will tide over to zero, so that zombie's going to knock them all over, and we're going to get a message at the bottom of the screen saying our zombie brains can't handle that much maths, because they're only simple zombies in the end anyway, aren't they? Um, yeah, so I had a lot of fun building this. My cousin helped me out with this a lot. He's a mathematical genius, doesn't know much about Minecraft. I know quite a bit about Minecraft, but don't know much about maths, so we got together, um, our families met for dinner, and this is how we entertained ourselves. We drafted this on a piece of paper and um, we later put it together uh, to, to this so um, I'm really pleased with it you can download this in the video description if you want to play around with it it's it's fairly useless uh, in terms of actual sort of practical use in Minecraft but it's fun and I'd love to see if people have any ways of sort of improving this can you get it past 31 counting that zombie is about as far away from this village as it's possible to get without it not seeing it anymore. So I'm not really sure how we could make it longer. And remember that the point is that as much of the calculation as possible is carried out by the zombies themselves. So yeah, download in the description. If you open the map, you can press this button here for some night vision just to make sure that everything is visible. And have fun. Let me know what you think. Uh, I'd love to see if people can adapt this in any way. Uh, you may want MC Edit if you want to get more of these s custom zombie spawners. Uh, yeah, so thank you very much for watching. Um, this is a series, so you're welcome to subscribe if you want to be updated with any new experiments I do. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. Mm -hmm.